very much. Now we go to southern Utah, where authorities are investigating an accident at Sand Hollow State Park Monday afternoon. Two wave runners crashing, leaving an 11 year old boy fighting for his life and sending his father and brother to the hospital. ABC 4's Katie Corrales reports. Now, park rangers here at Sand Hollow State Park say all the individuals involved in this accident knew each other and were spending the day out on the lake visiting from Arizona when one of the wave runners collided with the other and ended up going over the top of it. The call first came into dispatch at 2.30 Monday afternoon as a possible drowning about a half mile east of the rental shop on the South Beach. Authorities didn't learn until later that there were two watercrafts involved. Adult men were driving with younger kids on board. Luckily, we had some people on shore that heard uh, screaming for help. Park manager Jonathan Hunt says a witness launched her boat and quickly pulled the group inside, performing CPR on the most critically injured, the 11 year old boy who suffered life threatening head and back injuries. His father was found unconscious in the water with head injuries. It's kind of your case of a rear ending, but, but on a boat where one vehicle slows down and the other does not and they ended up colliding. The father and his 11 year old son remain in the hospital. His eight year old son was treated and released. The cause of this accident is under investigation. It's unclear at this point how many individuals were on the other wave runner and how quickly it was driving. Although San Hollow has seen record breaking visitation this summer, rangers say there were only five to six boats on the lake at the time. They asked that any watercraft stay at least 150 feet apart. All were wearing life jackets, which park officials say likely saved several lives. Katie Kralis, ABC4 News.